All right, before we miss this video opportunity, which I've already half missed, we are, what are we doing? Oh, we're putting in a damn dump valve, right? Oh. We're videotaping, you know, you're going to be famous on YouTube. We're going to put you in the movies, Carl. <laughs> don't even know what I'm talking about. <laughs> you don't have to know as long as you oh, make it look right. good. I'm a certified cat <laughs> Cer mechanic. Certified cat mechanic right here. This guy, he's now a certified Fontaine mechanic. So, we're going to get this sucker together. Um, do we need hose? I'm going to go look and see if I can find some. Well, this line here, if I take this off, this is a T. It is a T, yeah. And I put it on the bottom, it'll reach. And then I'll, this other one I can put on the top. Okay. Is there still air in this thing? No, it's dead. It's out. I'm going to look in the Mac and see if that hose is in there, if we do need some more. If not, we can always rob that blue one. Yeah. Well, I think it's just by changing the fitting. Yeah, I get scared when we do that because things kind of get brittle and broken. But <laughs> air tanks. Well, you just put that on there. Didn't you? Uh -oh. Yeah. Yeah, so it should be good. Well, you didn't do bad though when you replaced that tank. It went a lot easier than I thought it was going. Yeah, me too. I wasn't even here. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I got moisture out of that tank. This one? That one right there, just a little bit, and a little puff came out of it. And I thought, well, huh. yeah, it's too bad you can't just block that off because that's that air system. That feeds that air system. No, 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 that feeds the anti-lock, doesn't it? No, that's that air system. That feeds, oh, it is, so I don't that, even need that. Yeah, that just feeds the air system, so, I mean, we don't is have it, anything to block it off with. But Is there a right angle in here to that side? That's a 3 8 pipe? It's all that feeds. That's what? Yeah, it feeds to this thing, and this thing feeds to the air. It's not even being used. It's not even being used. And I'll never use it. I think it's stupid, to be honest with you. But, uh, they work great for you, huh? Oh, I'm sure they do. Until they fail, and you got four okay, flats. Okay, so we're going to take this one off here. Do we have a, uh... You got a 90? Uh... Mm, not that size. Oh, actually, I don't know. Let me shut this. Anywhere's fast or nowhere's slow. <laughs> I don't know. What do we got? A <laughs> leveling valve moved. Might as well take a look here. I got to do quality control on my certified Fontaine mechanic. <laughs> you know, that's just the way that is around here. That should work. Got these little quick couplers rerouted. You didn't even use that thing I came up here with. You didn't need it. Now, change that. Uh, now, what did you need the black hose all the way back there for to charge the dump valve? Yeah. Okay. Oh, Cody's putting the wires together for the dump valve, and we'll probably have a big old clusterfuck because, I don't know, these wires go to nowhere. I got silicone for that too, Carl, so we should be able to silicone the end and put it all back together. In theory, the analog brakes should come back on and work, even though I cut the blue wire. Because it's funny, you know, that blue wire does not have power in it, right? Now what? Don't you fucking tell me you lost. It's right here. Right here. Right next to the other one you lost. <laughs> I got you. Found no, I didn't, but I'm going to find that thing. I actually was able to locate one pretty quickly. Oh, anyway, uh, hopefully I've got this fixed. I had to ch fix this light here. They they put these stupid automatic tapping things in that aluminum. It's not good. This light bulb was not working, so we got that fixed. And now I might as well. Uh, you need uh, heat shrink, right? You got that down there, Carl. Well, you don't need heat shrink. You've got the uh, connector, right? You got the blue connector? You do? Okay, good. Then we'll go down there with these. I got the torch. It's all good. Okay, so let me give you a quick overview of what we just did to this trailer. Um, a couple, three things, actually. 
it is dropping its air right now, which it's supposed to do. All the air is dumped out of the bags like it's supposed to. Cool. Um, I had to move the leveling valve. Yes, the leveling valve. That is right here, okay? That's the leveling valve. What that does is keeps this trailer... Um, yeah, it keeps the trailer level, obviously, or they would not call it a leveling valve. I do have to make an adjustment to it, and I probably will do it yet tonight or tomorrow morning. I need to move it one more hole. Uh, because I moved the leveling valve from the back, back position, which I will show you where it was. Ugh. It was mounted here at the back of the maxi, and there is a spot right here on the frame where the other part of it was mounted. So all I had to do was move it from the front to the back now, or the back to the front. Now all those hoses and stuff, uh, they had to be rerouted. We actually added a black hose in there. You probably can't see it because it's pretty dark. But uh, this hose here, I got, I got problems with my camera. I got bumped. Um, yeah, so we redid those. Now I did notice that the uh, the air to the tires mechanism broke, and they just disconnected it and put regular valve stems in. So yeah, so we just we moved all those hoses, and the reason I did that was so that I could put a dump valve in this back axle so I can get into tighter places on the uh, in the farms you know in these fields I can hook it to Carl's truck and that'll really tighten it up because that trailer that truck with this trailer would really be pretty short as that wheelbase is I don't know he's like 220 this is 260 or something extra four feet long uh, Carl and Cody put that valve and you can barely see it but it's at the tip of my finger you see my wiggly finger uh what that does is that exhausts the air out of these these back bags so that they are deflated so when i go around the corner the front bags are locked out they stay inflated the back bags dump so i can go around the corner and basically what it does is it drags these back tires ugh, drags these back tires uh, around the corner so that you're not tearing the tires and you can actually it pivots from this point here the center of this point and gives me 14 feet of the trailer in the back that will then swing away now I can you know now I can get into tighter places uh, in and out of tighter places so that works out really good now I know a lot of people were saying hey you know, why don't you use what George Saunders uses? Tractors with trailers. Well, you know, farm tractors with trailers, that's a great idea. And they do do it around here a little bit. I don't. A um, couple reasons. I just think that uh, wagons are just fine. You know, wagons work just fine. I don't need them. Now, maybe with the new tractor that I'm getting out of Europe, out of England, I will have a have a hookup with air and or I'm sure they have air if they're not air they're hydraulic and you can always easily convert these to hydraulic cylinders on these back on these back brakes which is fine by me I mean I just need brakes when I go, around, go down the road so yeah uh, George Saunders has wheels I believe all the way to the back and I, but there's like three rows of them and I think they stop about here but they're much shorter trailers than what this is this is a 48 footer uh, my other trailer is 53 feet, so I have a dump valve on that trailer also, but it can't get into where this one will be able to get to because it is only technically 14 feet. It's like a 30, 32 uh, foot trailer, 34 foot trailer. Yeah, 38, 48. It's 10, uh, 14, 34 foot trailer. So a 34 foot trailer is what that's going to be. Uh, on the pivot so I think that's great this tractor is extremely long it's either 260 or 270 wheelbase because of that great big sleeper on the Western Star and yes I do use that um, when I go to the mushroom barn I crawl in the back um, the engine in this tractor is, or this Western Star is a C15 Acer twin turbo it produces 44 pounds of boost at the uh, head 
And what happens with that is it is causing an erosion within the valve guides and the valve seals. And I have an extraordinarily large amount of blow by, which I'm not thrilled about. But uh, I could either have an end frame done at seventeen, eighteen thousand dollars, and then pay for the head, which is going to be five thousand bucks. So you're still looking at twenty thousand dollars. Or I could get a completely remanufactured engine, I believe, for about twenty-five thousand and drop in the truck, but do I really want to put that, all that money into this old 2005 Western Star? Well, the interior is good, and yeah, I think I should do that. I mean, $25,000, I've got the truck, I know what it is, and uh, I actually like it. It's got lots of power. Uh, it's got a new transmission in it, 300 gallons of fuel storage. I do have to replace that bushing there. Um, but yeah, so that's what I've done. I will be, uh, tomorrow, I'm heading up north to the uh, county ground that I have up north. And I'm going to be, uh, uh, I'm going to be bringing bales of hay home. Uh, I've got Saturday, Sunday, Monday, and not Tuesday. Tuesday I'm voting and leaving, so Tuesday's a wash. So, George Saunders, I'm on my way. So, uh, I'll be seeing you somewhere. I'm expecting to see you probably on Wednesday, if not Wednesday, Thursday. So, I'm going to be getting in contact with you via email, and we'll, we'll iron that those details out. So, thanks for watching. Please comment, rate, and subscribe. And, uh, yeah, I hope to see you all on the road.